What's up guys, StuDog here, welcome back to some more Dueling Book Duel Commentary. We got Team Jobber Patrick James here at 982 going up against Kelly here at 530. So again, still no ban list, at least when I'm recording this video right now, so we're still going to be seeing the same stuff that people always play on this segment. And I'm so sorry if you guys are getting bored this segment, but... And no matter what people play, no matter what the format is, I will do this every single Thursday. And I have been doing this every single Thursday for the past three years. So, I'm used to, you know, boring stuff. I remember back when Klee's were the best deck, we had went, I think, almost two months straight of Klee's in a row. That's like almost eight weeks straight. So, yeah, buddy. Anyway, Kali decides to go first. Looks like he's playing Demise Draco as there is zero in that extra deck. Gonna start things off by activating that Dragonic Diagram. Kill off his Apocalypse to add himself a Heritage. And he's gonna activate the Heritage to draw one card from the top of his deck. And there's the Pot of Desires drawn right off that Heritage. So he's gonna play that. To get two more cards deeper into his deck. Well, technically 12 more cards deeper in his deck. But he's only going to be seeing two of them in his hand. <laughs> so there's the Pot of Duality played right after the Pot of Desires. And he reveals another copy of Dragonic Diagram, the Majesty Maiden, and the Ignis Heat. And he decides to actually go for the Ignis Heat. I guess he really wants spells or what? Okay, you might want to shuffle these two cards back to the top of your deck. Yeah, about that. <laughs> So he's going to tribute off the Heritage for the Ignis Heat, and finally Team Jobber is going to call Kali on that. I guess he just completely forgot. But yeah, last time I checked, Pot of Duality doesn't just banish the other two cards. You do indeed shuffle them back into the deck. So, yup. Unless you chain Mistake. Believe it or not, if you chain a Mistake to Pot of Duality, um, you actually... I, how does that ruling go? I believe... Yeah, the, the card that you choose actually goes to the grave. The other two get shuffled back, so actually that wouldn't work. That's kind of like that weird ruling. You chain a mistake to Pot of Duality, you choose one card, it goes to the grave, and then the other two get shuffled back into the deck. So, yep. Kelly. 20 cards remaining in that main deck already have gone through half of his deck on the first turn in the duel. And let's see what Team Jobber is playing here. He has the higher rating and almost 1,000 experience. Hopefully it's not Zoo, but you know it's going to be Zoo. <laughs> Just noticed that. So Kelly looks like a little under experience compared to his opponent. Only 147 experience. He's trying to climb the ladder of Dueling Book. Here's the Fire Formation Tanky activated. And we all know dang well this is not going to add a Rat Peer. This is going to be adding a Fire Fist Bear. And he's going to use the Fire Fist Bears effect to try to kill off this Ignis Heat. And then the bear will attack directly for 1600 and it can set another copy of Tenki or Tensu. So this is awesome. It's going to be Fire Fists versus Draco. It's a very interesting matchup. Ignis Heat will get its effect to activate that Disciples. So yeah, buddy, free plus one for the win. And let's see, Team Jobber, add the bear. That is not a bear. Uh, I think there might be a glitch on this website, as I am not seeing a Fire Fist Bear anywhere. Instead, I'm seeing this piece of garbage. <laughs> ah, I've got it. Well, we tried, guys. We tried. So, unfortunately, it's going to be Zoo versus uh, Pure Dracos, of course. Ooh, what is this? The Monarchs Erupt. Now, that's a tech card. Don't see this card every day. Reading. Alright, it's time to read, boys. So activate this card if you have zero in the extra deck and you control a tribute summon monster and negate the effects of all feasts at monsters in the field while those monsters are on the field. Except the tribute summon monster during the end phase. If you control no tribute summon monster and this in the graveyard, right? Kind of confusing. Except the tribute summon monsters. Okay, so it negates this guy's effect. And we get to see a cosmic cyclone chain to that. So, for the low, low cost of 1,000 life points, this will get banished. And then that Thoroughblade is going to draw one card, going to pitch that Ram Ram that he actually searched off the tanky. And 
and let's see what Team Jobber is going to overlay into, boys. Whatever will it be. So, I don't really know who has the edge in this matchup. Probably the better deck, which is Zoo. But anyway. Hopefully Kelly, he has some outs to these XYZ monsters. D barrier would have been pretty tight. So, Team Job, we're going to start out with that Monkey Man. And he's Stuvy win that extra deck. Uh, he's going to slap some other stuff on top of that Monkey Man. And Kelly really needs that Solemn Strike or something. I'm going to go straight for the Dryden. It's interesting. Most of the time, you kind of want to search off stuff first before you just Dryden right off the bat. He has indeed already normal summoned. But, eh, whatever. Anyway, that diagram will get destroyed. And, how did this die? Apparently this just died. I don't know if I'm brain farting or what, but I don't know how the dragon just died. <laughs> Wait, was there a go? I didn't even see that ghost stoger. Oh, all right, my bad. All right, so the ghost stoger was used to get rid of that dragon. Here's that card demise activated. No response time given whatsoever from Callie. You know that's the style. Doesn't even want to attack first. Why would you not attack first? Because missing out on 2,400 points of damage. Is what all the pros do. Oh my god. So yeah, not attacking first. That's all I gotta say about that. Whatever. Not me dueling, man. Not me dueling. Looks like he has a master pizza he's about to tribute for. Yes indeed, there's the master pizza. Kill off that disciples and the true king's return. Disciples will be able to get rid of one of those or traps all the mornings used to actually negate the summon of the masterpiece and disciples gets rid of that useless dimensional barrier which is going to be doing absolutely nothing in this matchup okay so yep the ignis heat will attack for zero points of damage because card of demise was indeed activated and that's what i was saying you should have attacked first with this ignis heat and some of the master pizza in main phase two but eh, whatever a little bit of a misplay there, I'd say, from Callie. And yeah, the Ghost Ogre was used to get rid of that Dryden. So weird, I didn't even see that happen. But yeah. I know, right? So anyway, looks like Callie's just going to pass his turn. It's back to Team Jobber. He's got four cards to work with. Tanky's not really doing anything unless he top decks a fire fist bear. Then the tanky would do something. God, man. Just want to see fire fists. <laughs> so he's viewing his graveyard. And apparently Kelly is clicking on the tanky. I don't really know why he's clicking on the tanky. Maybe that was a misclick. Maybe like his pet cat got into his keyboard and started like clicking buttons and stuff and maybe his evil brother like <laughs> uh, stole the mouse from him I remember when that happened there was actually one duel a long time ago on DN where some guy gave me a free win and raided and said um, I'm this guy's brother and I'm trying to give him free losses on his dueling network account so here's a free win God, I would not like to be the owner of uh, that account. I'd probably just start a new account. I'm like, F that. My brother hacks into my account and just gives me free losses. Like, no thank you. So there's that Whiptail Normal Summon. He's going to overlay into that Hammer Kong. And let's see if this is okay. Kelly, the two face down cards. The world may never know what they are. They could just be random bluffs. As that Demise was used, so he had to set everything. And it looks like it is fine. That sucks. 
So Jobber's gonna overlay into the searcher guy here. Ignis Heat will get a search as well. Yeah, buddy. He's gonna add that to his hand. Not gonna activate it. Fair enough, fair enough. So it looks like Jobber is going to add that rat peer from his deck to the hand. Seems good. And there is the second Dryden't overlaid into. One Dryden't down the drain. You still got another one. You still probably have a third one. And yeah, you got your combo to shuffle them back. So you just pretty much have infinite Dryden'ts, which sucks. So that effect will resolve to get rid of that Ignis Heat. And let's see if Patrick James is done. Or does he have more follow-up plays? We are about to find out. Apparently the answer to that question is yes. Check a nine. Overlaid into to bring back something in that graveyard. And then he could go for the clutch link summon. Or he could take the duel a little slow and overlay some more, I don't even know. Zoo gives me a headache. Pure Zoo. God. I don't know. I don't even understand how the deck could be fun. Like, at least with Draco, it could at least be fun. It was like that anti-meta deck. That, you know, has a simple game plan. But Zoo, like, God, pure cancer. So anyway, he's not going to go for that Clutch Link Summon. Instead, he's going to attach that Ram Ram onto the Dryden. This will attack directly for 1,300. Nope, 1,300. I'm so sorry. The Tanky is face up on the field. And right here on the fine text, it says, All Beast Warrior type monsters you control gain 100 attack. And last time I checked, 1,200 plus 100 equals 1,300. So Kali does indeed have to lose another 100. Let's see if anyone in the chat, yep, of course, <laughs> Panna has something to say to that. <laughs> this time I didn't forget, yep. It's like these guys are reading my mind. So anyway, Disciples is activated and it looks like Dryden was used to actually kill the Disciples right off the bat, so he won't be able to get that free, like, pot of avarice. But at least he can kill that back row but unfortunately it's a chainable card and he gets rid of the useless pot of desires oh you gotta banish it <laughs> yeah because he's totally playing magician of faith and he's totally gonna magician of faith it back and then deck himself out <laughs> uh, whatever so there's that card demise play draw another three Yu-Gi-Oh cards isn't that fair he quickly goes after the Dynamite Knight. And it looks like again he's going to not shuffle back the other two cards or something. Oh my god, bro. Come on, man. Shuffle back the other two cards. Not that hard. Oh my god. He's <laughs> and Patrick's like, bro! <laughs> yeah, buddy. Put your cards back to the deck! Sounded like a furious first grade elementary school teacher. Put your cards back to the deck. Or no recess. Not desires. <laughs> oh my god. Misclick lol. Oh my god. Well at least there's some entertainment here. This guy is just not a fan of Kelly's little brain farts or whatever. I don't know what to really call them. So anyway, Return will be able to pop this beautiful tiger. And then this Dynamite Knight can attack right into this Dryden. And yeah, seems good. You do got to set that card in your hand or else it will get discarded during the end phase. So if that's like a random Ash Blossom or Ghost Ogre, I'm sorry, but you're not going to be getting any use out of that. Main phase 2, you better set this card. You better set it. End phase... Di not gonna discard. <laughs> Not gonna uh, discard. <laughs> Toothpaste got destroyed. Oh my god. Yeah. 
Yeah. This card does get discarded thanks to the card of demise that was activated. During the end phase of this turn, send your entire hand to the graveyard. And apparently, no one catches the cheat. <laughs> I know, right? Too pro to discard. <laughs> oh my god, this is already hilarious. So anyway, looks like Patrick James gonna now normal summon that ret. It looks like Kelly actually has targets remaining in his deck for the Dynamite Knight. I got the feeling Kelly is an LRD who doesn't read the bad parts of a card. Yeah, sure. Hey, I just realized something. Demise, discard. You just realized that, or were you reading the watchers chat? There's a, there's a huge difference between just now realizing something and reading the watchers chat. So don't be all that, don't be cool saying, "Oh, I, I just thought of it." No, you're not even gonna credit the watchers, man. That's that's not cool. So anyway, there goes bye bye to that useless terraforming again. Don't really know why you wouldn't have set that. I guess he just forgot about the card demise discard, and he's like, forget it. But I'm pretty sure he doesn't even have any more field spells remaining in his deck. And the rat sends the combo to the grave. And again, Patrick James, he's just not running out of steam. This has already been a 16-minute game number one. So, yeah, buddy. Oh, my God. Probably going to be a very long match. As, yes, this is a match. I'm so sorry. Maybe I should stop getting matches. I don't know. Should I just get single games in on this segment? Problem is, you know, I, have, I, have a, I have a level of consistency on this segment, man. I've been doing this segment for three straight years, and I've been doing matches the entire time. It just feels weird to get, you know, just a single game in. Especially sometimes the single games can go extremely fast, and I'm like, I'm just stuck with a pickle, but I don't know, man. Anyway. Patrick James. Pretty nice name. Haven't even seen one Link summon this entire time. I want to see the Doge. Show me the Doge. Show me the Doge. I want to see the Doge. Doge or Riot. Looks like we're going to be rioting. <laughs> no! I don't want to riot. Alright then, Dryden number three. Only four cards remaining in that extra deck, but who cares when you got combo to shuffle like everything back. Apocalypse is pretty dang useless. Dryden will be able to kill this Dino Might Knight. And I don't believe Jabra will have enough firepower to actually win the duel this turn, but at least Kali will be in straight top deck mode. Now again, it just seems like the better deck is winning, Zoo, the best deck, and it just keeps on winning. And we are still waiting for that ban loss, so that Dryden's going to attack for a beautiful 100 points of damage. And the Whiptail will get in for 1300 as well. Get in there. 50? How did he lose 50? Where did he get the 50 from? I don't know. <laughs> 750. Alright, so we're gonna pause the video and wait for them to figure out this math. I don't know where you're getting that math from. Alright, so apparently he used Apocalypse. He said Oppo, a Apple. Alright, so I didn't really catch the Oppo. He actually used the Apocalypse to half everything, so that's where he got the 50 from. I was like really confused on that math. So, whatever. And wow, he actually had another Dragonic Diagram left? So, I don't know why. He didn't just play the terraforming. He should have just played the terraforming that he got off the demise earlier. It was a free deck thin too, and I mean, he didn't even have a field spell taking up his zones. I mean, he could just play that. I don't know. It isn't a cost, so yeah, this will still stay on the battlefield. And let's see. If 
Kelly is finally going to scoop up this ball game. Come on, man. Scoop it up. I don't got 20 years for all this stuff. What the F is happening? <laughs> 50 equals 100. Yeah, he halved it, right? Half their current attack and defense. But what did he send? One other true Drake or a true King card? I guess he sent the. Because the Dragon targeted the Dynamite Knight, so I guess he's like Chain Apocalypse, kill off the Dynamite Knight. And then the Dragon like loses its target. Right? I guess. Anyway, this duel's been going on much longer than need be. Patrick James gonna use that combo to shuffle back probably 5XYZ monsters most of the time. People use the combo, they shuffle back 5XYZ monsters. And it looks like that is exactly what's going to be happening. Draw one, and for all that is holy in this universe, can Kelly just scoop up this game because he's never winning it? He only has one useless card to work with. Patrick is free to do whatever he wants. And yeah, it's just a matter of time before Kelly loses. So again, just for video's sake, just gonna pause the video, wait for them to get into the next game. Because I don't know why Kelly's not scooping. This is just stupid, man. And I really don't want this to be like another 40 minute video like last week. Okay guys, welcome to game number two. Wow, I felt like game one was centuries ago because their side decking took freaking forever. Dear lord, that side decking took forever. Sorry, I had to step away for a sec. Really? Really? Doorbell? That's the number one excuse I hear on this website. It's always the doorbell. Always. Alright then, so it looks like Kelly, he learns his lesson. He finally remembers to shuffle back the other two cards with Pot of Duality at a reasonable time frame. He doesn't have to have his opponent babysit him on that. It's pretty nice. First turn, Heritage, Tribute Offer, the Dino Might Knight. And, I mean, again, hopefully he has some good defense. He said he has some saucy side decks here, as everyone's sleeping here in the Watcher's Chat during that side decking. But he says he has some saucy techs in his side deck. So hopefully they're very saucy for him to, you know, win this game. And Jobber is just going to set four cards face down, three sets of other traps, along with a set monster. There goes bye bye to the whip tail. That wasn't really going to be doing a home lot. And Kelly's just going to pass his turn. Three cards in hand to work with. Not going to set anything else. I don't know if they're hand traps, if they're defense. Well, it's probably not defense. He would have set it, so. It's just dead cards or hand traps. Maybe a Max C. Hopefully. Your one and only Max C. Yeah, that's the card you're going to need. So, Patrick James is back to his turn. Six cards to work with. And he's going to flip over the tanky that he just set. Okay, that was pretty random. And there's the Clutch Imperial Order used to negate that tanky. Get out of here, son. Er, uh, what? And it's not every day we see Imperial Order used in Demise Draco, but whatever Patrick James conveniently has the cosmic cyclone still negated um no chains resolve backwards unfortunately if you chain the cosmic cyclone to the imperial order cosmic cyclone resolve first simple chain links in the game of yugi mons so yeah it was chained nice draw <laughs> Oh my god. Effing zoo players. And now we get to see some cyberbullying here in the watches chat. Again, it's not a game of Yu-Gi-Oh! without some nice cyberbullying. That was a top deck cosmic cyclone apparently, and Kelly is not a fan not a fan of that, <laughs> to say the least. So let's see if we get to see the Clutch Ghost Ogre. Yes, we do. That was some perfect timing by me. Ghost Ogre used to get rid of that rat. You'll still get the effect. 
to send that combo from his deck to the grave era, but at least the rat itself should be off the board. Patrick James is thinking, let's see if he has that piano card that all the zoo players are playing these days. Does he, the, the piano card? Show me the piano. Come on. He'll chain MST to Ogre to negate it. <laughs> so, okay, looks like the Ogre will resolve and the rat is off the field. Let's see if we get to see the Shuffle Reborn or a Barrage. Shuffle were born or barrage? Oh, it is barrage, of course. It's the thing with Zoo, it's like get rid of their first threat and they're just gonna have a billion more threats. And now we get to see a solemn strike used to negate that dynamite knight, and that's gonna leave a mark. Callie desperately needed this body on the board in the free search of like the return to at least resolve this stuff. And the solemn strike can get rid of that with the greatest of ease, and Barrage gonna kill off that tanky. And it looks like we're just right back to square number one. As there's the Thoroughblade. Brought off off the barrage. And then he's going to use the effect. Pitch that whip tail to draw one card. And yeah, this already is not looking good at all for Cali. Not even remotely. So unfortunate. Oh boy, I'm getting ready to watch Zoo versus Dracos before the hurricane. <laughs> so, anyway, man, both these guys talking up a storm here in the watchers' chat. <laughs> Still salty about the cosmic cyclone top deck. Wonder if Kali is just going to scoop this up right now or what? <laughs> anyway, it looks like these guys are not dueling, instead they're continuing to trash chalk in the watchers chant. Cause dueling, who, who needs to duel, man? Anyway, Patrick James, yep, extra monster card zone, cheater! Extra monster card zone. Yep, there you go. There you go. That's more like it. So, yep. Overlay into that broad bowl and then search out anything from his deck because, you know, that's totally fair. And, again, Kelly, he just doesn't want to scoop it up, apparently. Just like in the previous duel. He's not one of those guys who scoops it up too early. But, I mean, there's still hope. For all I know, we could, like, set a card, card of demise, draw three, and then get, like, a regeki or something. I don't know. <laughs> get, like, that random Harpy's Feather Duster. It's like, wait, this was an OCG duel this entire time. Psych! Get that clutch Harpy's Feather Duster. I know you want to. Yeah, buddy, man. I know you want to. That is just not looking good at all for Cali whatsoever. I am so sorry. So, so we'll be able to get in for how much? Too lazy to hover over these materials. What is this? 16 and like 12? Sure. Why is Zoo still good? Because it's you don't it, it cheats it cheats the exceed mechanic instead of using one monster to go and these are high quality XYZ's you use one monster to go for such high quality XYZ's card that searches all searches out anything in your deck you have one monster and oh yeah and you can go for all of them in w the same turn of course that's totally fair you got revival you got quick effect destruction you got banishing I mean you got everything you literally got everything. Anyway, it's back to Kali's turn. Three cards to work with. Very interested in how he's going to win this duel. He needs a Regeki. Regeki Twin Twisters. I won't even do it because I'll waste all his resources. 
I don't even know, man. So, he's probably just gonna scoop it up relatively shortly here. Or is he just gonna go AFK? Is he just AFK, or is he still complaining in the watchers chat? I'm not, he's still complaining in the watchers chat. So apparently the cool tech that he cited in was Domain, which I guess Domain would have been really nice to stop Jobber from going into his extra deck, but unfortunately did not draw the Domain. Oh god! And this is the best turn ever from freaking Cali. He's just going to play the Heritage and end his turn. That is one of the best turns I've seen in my entire life. You know, activate the Heritage, not even going to set it, just activate it and end your turn. Yeah, freaking buddy. And the barrage will activate once again to bring out anything from the deck. And this will probably will be game, of course, and this gets sent to the graveyard. You can attach it onto something. So Dryden gets another free material. Isn't that convenient, eh? And the swift 2-0 from Patrick James. Well, this isn't necessarily swift. Especially with that side deck, and this still ends up being a half an hour video. God dang it, guys. So we're going to have back-to-back -back half an hour videos on this segment. For all I know, this might not even get uploaded if we get a ban list. That's what I get for recording in advance. So if we get a ban list, this will not get uploaded as I'll record an episode. Um, with the ban list in effect, unless it... Well, I mean, it's probably not going to come into effect for a while. It's probably like after two weeks. If it gets revealed. That's assuming the ban list, you know, comes into effect the day of it comes out. So, yeah, this probably still will get uploaded anyway. Effing God. <laughs> and is this just game on board? 16, 16, 16, plus 12? Got to pull out my, my calculator. Yeah, that should be game. I mean, he just go for Doge, even if it's not game. Just Doge. Doge it up. Doge time? I don't know. It's just going off. F this deck, man. Yeah, buddy. He's not even going to go for Doge. Just go for Doge for the style points, bro. I want to see Doge win the duel. My god, these style points are unreal. He's gonna play Desires after all of this. Pretty sure that's just game on board. He's still gonna freaking go for the style points of Desires. And then he's gonna play another one, and he's gonna deck out, and we're gonna go into game number three. <laughs> Please do it. Oh wait, he can't. He can only activate one per turn. God dang it. <laughs> no! If only he could play two Desires in the same turn. Then he could actually play another one and deck himself out, and we can go into game number three. And yep, this is going to just be game. So yeah, buddy. And yep, he gets that clutch 100 life points left. There's no way. Does he really have 100 life points left? You lying. Why did he gain 1200 at first? Yeah, that's a great question. And yep, game over. So anyway, thank you all for watching this episode of Dueling Book Duel Commentary. Unfortunately, another half an hour video. But at least we got to see some entertainment. The cyber bowling's kind of funny. And like the babysitting from Patrick James. Like he was really not a fan of that. The pot of duality. But in the end, Zoo wins again. Because, I mean, why wouldn't it? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. And he's just trolling. He's losing five life points at a time. Big shout out to the trolling. Look at this, bro. He's going to lose 5 life points at a time. He goes 5, 5, 5, 5, and then he misclicks 55, and then there's another 5 lost. 15 life points for the win. Dude, admit defeat. <laughs> and now he's losing 4. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is hilarious. I love those guys. And now we get to see an admin call from Patrick James. He's going to call a judge. Let's see how many judges are online. There's approximately two judges online. Yeah, buddy. So, 
I wonder if we're actually gonna see a judge come. Oh my god, that'd actually be hilarious. Calling an admin for no reason. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna pause the video. Oh no! I, I was hoping he wouldn't admit defeat and we get to see a judge come in. Now that would be pretty entertaining. So unfortunately, no judge coming in. Kelly, not a fan of his opponent at all. Thank you all for watching as always. Until next time, Stew Dog, and I'm signing.